Hey ladies, so as you see, my hair is definitely up in a bun and I am super, super excited about it. I love it and I'm so upset that I didn't do this a long time ago. Instead of me putting my hair in a puff and having that band pull my hair on the inside up in here. This is like the perfect do for me. And there's a hundred videos on here, so I will not be doing a tutorial on this. But I do want to show you the hair that I'm using and the parts that I did use because everyone uses different products here and you tweak it. But the hair that I used was the Janet Collection, and this is called the Afro Marley Braid. And it's the young lady who was on the package. And I got a 1B, and I only got one pack. And I only used half a pack um, to do this little particular bun. And I was in limbo because remember you guys, I told you I didn't want to sit for braids, but I was going to do my own Havana twist. And after getting one pack of hair just to test them out the whole situation, I probably would need like 10 packs of this hair. This was in my local beauty supply store and it was $5.99 and the price is still on there if you can see it. But um, and then I didn't want to sit and do the Havana twist myself. I wanted to have one of my girlfriends come over and help me, but... You know, everybody has their own, like, never have time to sit around doing twists with Kelly. So, I said, let me get the pack of hair, and I'll do a bun. And I like it. It's nice, it's sleek, it's chic, and it's work-appropriate, work-friendly, and no one will be talking about me. You know, I just want something different. I just want to keep wearing my hair pretty much out. I want to put it away and, you know, still be able to look normal and neat. That was my main thing, just making sure I look really, really neat. So the products that I used, of course I used my little moisture, I left that in the bathroom, but I used my little moisture mixed with oil, um, a moisturizer, and water, spray it in my hair. And prior to me doing this, I washed my hair, and I put it in two strand twists, let it dry, and then that was on Thursday, because I knew I was going to do it on, on Saturday. So I let it dry, then I retwisted my hair again, and it was kind of stretched out. So I took the spray bottle, just moistened my hair up, and I used... These are at your local beauty supplies. So you know how you get a whole bunch of these um, bands. Now, I can't use this for puffs because it does hurt me. But I just take one of these and I take it and twist it like this. And then I, I put my hair up. And it's not even tight. That's the part that's killing me. That the fact that this was tight here, but yet this is sitting up here. And it's kind of puffy. I do have pins because all of my hair is not pretty much in this ponytail. I don't show you guys know that because I have a tapered hairdo. So I, I use this, and for my edges, now you guys know that there's the organic root stimulator, they have that one, but I had that before when I was relaxed, I didn't like it, and my mom was using it when she was transitioning, and we really didn't care for it, so I went on over, and I, my beauty supplies was $4.99, and I got the Cream of Nature Organic, oh, Argan Oil, and this is the perfect edges, and guys, my edges is laid down. You probably see the scarf marks all right up in here. But this stuff is the business for natural hair. <laughs> I mean, I like it. And then I went and got the big tub of the Argan Oil. And this is my first time using this one. And I really, really like it. I had the Olive Oil one. I didn't really use much of it because I had it when I was transitioning. And then my daughter took it. It probably dried up a little bit, but she took it when she went to school. So I got this big jug. So when she did, this was four twenty nine. So when she does come home, you know, she could take a little Tupperware bowl and throw some in there <laughs> or whatever, take back to school with her. And I used these regular pins, and these are the straight pins. I didn't get bobby pins, the one that kind of clamp. I got the straight ones because I didn't want that pulling on my head just in case. And this is not even up here. It's it's up here. It's secure. I could wear it to work. You know, all that good stuff. You know, do a dance or two. But uh, for the most part, you know, I don't have it up there tight where I feel the pins. It's just up there. So I did do a blog post on this, you know, so you could see the pictures of all of this stuff. But I have a video up now. But you can see more pictures of me um, with this actual hairdo. And in that um, blog post, I do have on some makeup. Sip it off the box a little bit. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Um, I have a video of my full makeup look, so you can check that out. I'll probably link it below in the description box, or it might be linked as the next featured video. Either way, go check it out. So that was it. That's how I did my, um, my high bun. And that was it. I really, really like it. I had it in since, um, Saturday. 
and it's doing good and I'm gonna wear it to work all week and that's pretty much it I'm gonna be pumping out some more makeup looks because I just do <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys later bye